Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Delaney. And in today's video, I apologize if there's lots of noise. There's like a lot of yard work going on around me that I can't control. But I'm very excited. If you guys saw last week's Fashion Friday, I went over the 2023 fall shoe trends and just kind of dove in, explained them all, put up a bunch of inspo pics. And then in this week's video, I'm actually going to be styling the shoe trends with the shoes that I have and outfits in my closet. So this is very fun. I love these types of videos. And of course, I'll link everything I can for you guys in the description box. As always, feel free to comment any video requests or ideas that you guys have. I love hearing from you guys. I always add them to my list. And thank you guys for watching, subscribing, liking, literally everything, it means the world to me. So yeah, let's get to it. Okay, the first shoe is gonna be the Platform Mini Uggs because I wear these so much and I have a ton of inspo on my Instagram really of how I like to style these. A few of my favorite ways is definitely with leggings and like scrunchy socks or leg warmers, also with denim like I've done today. Super cute and casual, it's very fitting for fall. And I love the way that they look with like skirts or something, kind of just um, a nice chunky shoe at the bottom with your little little legs poking out like sticks, I guess. I don't know. But there's tons of ways to style them. They're super practical and comfy. I also love them with sweats. Great for like a travel day. So for today's outfit, I just wanted to show you guys something kind of simple and classic. This outfit reminds me of a very viral picture on like Instagram and Pinterest. I don't remember the girl's name off the top of my head, but it's somewhere in Europe. I think she's like walking in a crosswalk. She has a little jacket similar to this and denim and I think platform mini Uggs. It's just super kind of simple and easy, but it looks so good. Next up is the like low profile colorful shoe. I would arguably say the Adidas Gazelle or Sambas is the shoe of the season, especially in this category, but basically just like any more slender low profile sneaker in a bright like accent color is really, really popular. So like I mentioned the uh, Adidas Gazelle or Sambas or like the Onitsuka Tiger, the yellow sneakers, anything kind of like that. And I have a few pairs. I have two pairs of Sambas and one pair of Gazelles. My Gazelles are the only ones that are like a pop of color and they are so fun to style. They're super comfy and they're super wearable. But I generally like to pair them with like trousers or denim. I try to switch it up a little bit for today with like a denim skirt. I don't normally pair them with like a skirt, but they look so good with it. And they're just like a really fun pop. You can style them like monochromatically with other colors and have it just be like a colorful outfit with a cool shoe or just a really simple plain neutral outfit and then this is the pop. Another one of the absolute biggest shoes from the past couple of seasons and months is the ballet flat and this trend has kind of transitioned to like a ballet flat or a Mary Jane or all different types of variations with the ballet flat with like a square toe, a bunch of straps, maybe even like the ribbon to make it more kind of like literal ballet I guess and I'm having so much fun with this trend as I mentioned in previous videos I wasn't the biggest on it at first but I actually love ballet flats now. So I generally style these with like a long skirt or I've styled them with denim recently or like trousers. So today I tried to do like a mini dress and a blazer situation, which also looks really cute. Um, there's so many different ways to wear them and style them. I also like them with like a sock, especially if it's Mary Jane or a leg warmer. Um, really cute and fun. So this pair is really comfy. They have like a little bit of a square toe and I think they're Vince Camuto. Um, and there's just like tons of ballet flats all over right now. I also just got a really cute like lace up pair from Etsy. So there's, there's endless ways to kind of go about this trend. If there's one color that's really like the color of the season this fall, it is red for clothing, shoes, accessories, pretty much everything across the board. Red is just having the most moment right now, I would say. Red boots are there for having a moment and I've seen them in so many roundups on social media for like shoe trends and fashion trends and everything. And I have a pair of red boots that I love and I thought, okay, this is, this is a thing, it's happening, it deserves a place in this video. So these are actually from Nasty Gal and they're old. I'm so sorry you guys always ask about them. I will link similar ones. Um, I also just recently ordered a pair of Mark Fisher like cherry red boots that are so stunning and that's a good option too. A little bit darker. These ones are a little bit more bright red, more of a pop, but I love this trend because it is just so cool. It's very fashion 
pushing forward but it's not like uncomfortable or crazy either so it's just a really fun thing to play around with this fall and there's so many different ways that you can style it here I did it with like a little mini skirt a trench coat and a cropped jacket but you could also tuck these into jeans or leggings with like a sweater over top like a striped sweater with these would be so cute or um, I love the way that they look with mini skirts obviously or little dresses even with like a longer skirt it, they would be really cute like a satin uh, midi skirt with a slit or something that the possibilities are kind of endless with these okay next is the fuzzy shoe trend I didn't have anything like super I mean these are fuzzy shoes that I'm going to show you guys but I feel like there is a lot of other variations of this type of shoe. One that kind of comes to mind that fits in this category is that new Taz Ugg slipper that's like fuzzy on the outside, um, which honestly styling could be done pretty much the same way as this. So this isn't a terrible example. I just feel like maybe for fall and stuff they shouldn't be open toed for my example, but that's what I have. So, and honestly where I live, it's pretty much warm all the time um, or definitely warm enough to wear open toed shoes. But anyways, the fuzzy texture is just really big this fall um, for clothes, accessories, shoes. And I have this new pair of slides from Rome. They're so cute. They're super comfy. And I think because the texture already implies like coziness, a really easy way to style this trend is just with comfy clothes. So here I just have like a little sweatshirt and some sweats. And then I paired it with my like little pop of orange. I love that with this forest green. And a pair of sunnies. Very easy, simple like hungover outfit or travel day outfit just like a casual look so love the fuzzy trend okay the next trend is like a chunky platform sneaker so kind of the opposite of the adidas sambas or gazelle but also similar um because the ones that i've seen trending a lot are the platform gazelles and also um the adidas campus 2000s I think is what they're called um, which is what I have on here so these ones are like a chunky skater shoe that definitely gives like 2000s vibes um, and these are just like a lot bigger and bulkier than those low profile shoes that are trending so much right now but these are also simultaneously trending so I love pretty much like all shoes and all sneakers so I'm down with both but I feel like some people are very strongly against one or the other like Clayton really doesn't like a low profile sneaker and I know some people don't like a platform at all so I like that both of these trends are happening at once so there's kind of something for everyone or for people that like both they can do both these are also really fun to style and pretty easy to style because it's just a sneaker I did it with like a cargo pant because I feel like it's very casual laid back like street style shoe and again these are great as like a pop of color so I have these in yellow I love the platform gazelles in the like royal blue color my friend Greta has been wearing those a ton lately and I'm like ooh, do I need those you can go either way with the sneakers skinny or big <laughs> next is cowboy boots which I feel like has been trending for a couple of years and is honestly just kind of a timeless thing that is maybe because of like how I grew up wearing a bunch of cowboy boots and stuff but I just think there'll always be a place for them sometimes they'll be trending a little bit more than others and for the past couple of years I feel like they have always been trending so anyways there is so many different ways to style cowboy boots in every season and recently I would say the most like kind of popular ways that I've seen the cowboy boot style going into fall is like tucked into jeans I actually don't really have a pair of like true skinny jeans anymore so I'm just using like a straight leg which I feel like kind of works a little bit with the bunching for some people they're into it others like completely hate that which I get um so I kind of feel like I need a pair of skinny jeans to tuck my boots into but anyways uh other ways that you can style them is with like the satin midi skirts I think is really cute with dresses wear your jeans over them or like any pants over them which I think is really cute with like a boot cut or something and the pair that I'm wearing today aren't like true cowboy boots they're kind of more like western inspired I would say but I have been loving these for fall I've been styling them so much they are also a an investment piece so I'll link like more affordable ones for you guys and in terms of like true cowboy boots I actually even have this pair from Amazon that I've had for years and they're so cute and so comfy so there's tons of variety on the market of where to get boots like this and then also for today's look I kind of like styling it with this little like it gives me like riding vibes like horse like equestrian vibes a little bit so I don't know I think that's kind of fun way to lean into it or you could be like more western with it with like a hat or whatever it is but I just I love cowboy boots, I always will.
Next up is a pointed toe boot, which I also mentioned in my last video that I love these with a like baggy pant leg over top, which basically creates the same look as wearing like a pointed toe heel or pump as well. So if that's the way that you're going to style it and you didn't have a boot and you just had a pump, that would pretty much work the same way and look almost exactly the same. But other than that, a pointed toe boot is also so good for styling other ways. So like tucked into denim, I also love. Um, I love styling them with little mini skirts or midi skirts and dresses as well. So I think it's definitely a shoe worth having, especially in the fall and winter, even if you are going to style it the way that I have here where the shoe is like mostly hidden. Since it has so much versatility, it's so worth it. The pair that I'm actually wearing is from a, a few years back. They are from Express. I can't remember if it was last year or the year before that I got them but they're like a faux croc shiny black pointed toe boot and I wear the hell out of them I wore this exact combo like this exact pair of denim and this exact pair of boots so much last fall I brought them to New York and I walked everywhere in them I find them really comfy for being healed and they're just so fun to style so for today's look I did the baggy denim like a low-waisted pair of denim with these I just think looks so Cool together it's super elongating to have this like baggy pair of denim with the pointed toe at the end and then the rest is just like pretty simple and side note my little silver tabby coach bag I've been loving so much and I even like mixing the metals with it so I'm wearing like a little bit of silver here with the belt but then I still have all my gold jewelry on and I love the way that they look together so I'm just obsessed with that little bag Okay, lastly, also kind of just like a classic staple shoe is the like running style dad sneaker, if you want to call it style sneaker by various brands. So what comes to mind, what I've seen trending a lot is definitely ASIC shoes, which I recently got a pair that I love. They're sold out, so I didn't wear them in today's video because I feel like it's mean when I had this option that is not sold out that you guys can get still. But also like new balances like these, these are the 990V fives I think or something like that a bunch of different new balances I would say all of the asics pretty much just that kind of like runner style dad sneaker classic sneaker these are so easy to style and so easy to wear I love wearing these for like travel or if you're going to Disneyland or anything that's gonna have a ton of steps in the day these are so good for it they look good they're so cute they're trendy and they're also so comfortable I wear these to the gym as well so they're very very functional and I styled them today with just sort of like a elevated athleisure look, I would say. So this is great if you're maybe running some like work errands or something or you're going to work at a coffee shop, but you don't want to look like a complete bum. Kind of just like comfy casual outfit with the sneakers and the leggings, cute pair of socks, a graphic tee or sweatshirt, and then like a trench coat over top perfect fall outfit for something like this. So that's pretty much it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed all of these looks. Let me know what other fall videos you want to see coming up and I'll see you next time.